So let's check out a command line utility called Shred. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And in today's tutorial, I wanted to explore a powerful command line tool known as Shred. And this tool is super cool. It helps you securely remove files and even to the point where you can wipe an entire disk. And this tool has been around for a while and it's included within the core tools of Ubuntu. And I'm sure it's in other Linux distros, but it definitely comes in Ubuntu 22.04 as a default application now. And as always, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others who might benefit from it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. Okay, so I'm currently using Ubuntu 22.04, and in order to follow along, we need to ensure that the shred command is installed on the system. So let's go down and open up the terminal, and we can use a command called which, and which, and then shred, and it's spelled S H R E D. So let's press enter. And as you can see, shred is installed. As long as it shows the path to it under bin, you're good to go. And if it's not installed, you can easily get it installed by running sudo apt. And then I just wanted to show you guys what is core utils. And so I'm gonna tab it out so you guys can see what utils. There we go. And so shred is included under those core utilities. That's why I say it's pre-installed. These applications come pre-installed and they're mostly terminal utilities. And shred is one of those terminal utilities that are available to you. So now that we know that shred is installed, first thing I like to do whenever I'm looking at any command line utility, I always like to show you guys the manual. And so we can use a command called man. So man and shred. And this will give us all the information about the command. And it starts off with a quick definition of shred or the purpose of the utility. It says to overwrite a file to hide its contents and then optionally delete it. And so that's one thing about the shred command. When you run it by default, it does not delete the file. It writes over the file on the hard disk with ones and zeros just to make sure the content is unreadable. And then here is the synopsis. You'll see there's the shred command and the option and then the actual file or folder or disk you can you know specify after that. And here's a quick description, overwrite the specific file repeatedly in order to make it harder for even very expensive hardware probing to recover the data. And that's one thing that this tool is used for because let's say you throw away a computer or you get rid of an older computer. Most of the time, if the drive is not encrypted, most people can open up the drive, run tools on it, and they can see all the files that you have on there. They can recover those files because when you delete something, it's not really deleted on most systems. You'll delete it and it just basically hides the file until it's overwritten with new files, which doesn't happen, you know, right away. And so this tool is a way of just writing over that file, like I said, and you can specify the amount of times you want to write over the file. I think the standard for the Department of Defense is like nine or something like that, that they use on their systems when they destroy computers or something like that. They write over the data that's on the system, you know, multiple times. Uh, I think that is the standard. And I don't want to speak for the Department of Defense. I'm just saying from what I remember with the information that's put out to the public, I think it's like nine times, but most systems are encrypted nowadays anyway. But still, you want to write over the file so no one can get access to it. And so let's cover, let's just look at a couple of the arguments that you can use so there is the force and it's basically changes permissions to allow writing if necessary dash in which is the iteration so how many times you want it to overwrite and the default is three so if you don't put dash in it's going to run it at three times by default 
and then random source you can get random bytes from a file so if you have a file with random junk in it that you want to use it will use the contents of that file to write over that file and that's just another way of concealing what was there and then the size so shred this many bytes so so you can do kilobytes megabytes and gigabytes so that's the size of it dash u the allocate and remove files after overwriting so this is how you remove the file or delete the file after you run the shred command and then remove verbose it'll show progress uh, and that's only good for like your bigger files if you're running shred against bigger files and you're running it multiple times because sometimes it takes a little while especially depending on how big the file is uh, you can look at the progress of that actual file being overwritten and, and walking through the times that it does overwrite that file exact so do not round file round file size up to the next full block so you can do that in zeros you know you can this is a good option right here as well the uh, dash z it adds a final overwrite with zeros to hide the shredding process so this is a way to hide that you did not use a utility or a tool like this and then also you have your help and then your version as well and let's go down to quit right fast so you guys can see the version. Let's run shred and then dash dash version and press enter. And that will give us the current version and it's 8.32. And like I said, it comes with the core utilities and these are GNU core utilities. It comes by default in most Linux distributions from what I've seen. And I know for sure it comes in Ubuntu, but let's go down and walk through a few examples of how to use it. All right, so in order to demonstrate shred i need to generate some files right fast and actually i'll just create one file but let's start off by going into our documents directory and then as you can see this like this is a fresh install so nothing is on there so i need to generate something at least so i could just generate a file with just some random text in it and we can use let's see this is a command i've i've ran in the past so we can run the cat command and then user that, and we can use our dictionary on the system. So user share and then dictionary and then words. And this will give us something that looks legit because there are other ways to do this. There's multiple different ways to actually generate like random text or random bytes into a file, but some of it's unreadable. So I wanna use something that looks normal. So when we shred it, you guys can see the difference once we run the shred on the file. And then let's pipe this into sort, the sort command. If you guys haven't, I think I've done videos on the sort command and some of these other commands as well as piping things, but let's use the head command after this. And we could generate a file and we can specify the size of the file. So I'm gonna use the dash C option. And I know this might be a little confusing, but just ignore this. This is just to mainly generate the files that we'll work with, with the shred command. And then let's create the file. So let's just name it test5.txt and press enter. And let's run it again. Let's run, let's create a 10 megabyte file as well, which I don't think we need it but let's just create it anyway. The bigger it gets with text files though, it's very hard to open up within a text editor because it'll start freezing up and all that stuff. So we'll just stick with the five, but I put a 10 there just in case we want to run it against something bigger. All right, let's, let's verify our files are there. Let's just run the ls command dash la and it'll give us the sizes of them. Actually, let's run h on there, so lah. So. And that's weird that it says 962, but if we go into our Explorer and look at these files, let's right click on one, it was 985, but I mean, it doesn't matter about the file size. That really doesn't matter. Let's open it up right fast. You can see we got random text in here and that's mainly what I wanted to do. Just make sure I generated enough text uh, for each one of the files, but let's go down and close that and we can run the shred command. So let's go down and clear right fast the terminal. And let me give you guys the first example I want to show you guys of the shred command. And I'll use a couple options here. Let's go shred and then dash V for verbose. I don't know if you guys remember that in the man page, but verbose and then Z 
that will overwrite with zeros to hide the shredding. And then I'll just run it using this, the number of times that we wanted to run and I'll adjust it. Cause the default is three. Remember uh, from the man page, it was three. So we can specify, let's say four, we want to run it four times. So all you got to do is dash in and then the variable that we want to run it against that file. And then let's run it against our test five dot text. And I wanted to make sure I put verbose in there so we could see the what's happening throughout the process. So let's go down and press enter, boom, and you'll see it. And as you can see, it goes through. It's super simple, it's super quick. So it does it four times. It did random, it, it explains what it did each time. So it did random text the first time. Then it did zeros the second time. And then it did F the third time through that file. And then random again, and then the zeros, the last zeros that we specified by using dash Z. And so let's look at the difference of the file right fast. Let's open up the, the file itself, go to that text file, and let's open it with our text editor. And as you can see, you cannot open the file. It's basically destroyed. You really can't get into it. You can't recover it in any way. I'll even try to run it from the command line. You can run the cat command against that file and we shouldn't see any results as you can see it's, everything is gone it's been overwritten and this brings up a very important point only run shred against files that you absolutely want to get rid of and you don't want to recover don't just run this against files and then like oh i didn't mean to do that because at the end of the day it's gone once it runs through all these different passes against that file and that's the same thing with hoard disk because you can do the exact same thing with hoard disk using this command and i'll just show you guys here right fast i'm not going to run it against my hard drive but let's go ls i don't know block and it should bring up our virtual hoard disk yeah as you can see that's let's say we want to run it against this whole disk right here which obviously you wouldn't want to do because that'll delete the operating system and everything on it. Why, and it won't even finish the command. But let's say you have a drive that, a hard drive that you have connected and you want to wipe everything off of it and you want to be done with it. Then you find out what that drive letter is and then you can run it against that drive. But with the shred command, as far as running it against a device, you have to use sudo. And so I'm gonna just type it out as see sudo and I'm not gonna run it, but shred, and then let's go verbose, and then let's force it as well. And then we can do a last overwrite as well to hide the fact that we use shred, and then dev, <laughs> and then VDA, boom. And then all we gotta do is run it against that drive, and this will do the exact same thing we just did to that file. And it won't actually finish, it won't complete, but it'll mess up the operating system, but it won't actually complete anyway because I'm running the command shred from the operating system. If it starts deleting the files for the operating system, it's not gonna complete. It's just gonna corrupt the whole operating system and you'll be screwed. But let's go down and back that off so we don't accidentally hit enter on it. But that's how you wipe a hard drive 100%. All right, so let me show you one last option right fast with the shred command. And that's why I created that other file. So let's run shred dash VZ. And I wanna add one more option in there and that is the U option. So VZU, and this will remove the file from the system. And so let's go down and run that against the test 10. And we can also specify more than one wipe, but I'm gonna just leave it to default, which is three. But we got verbose in there so you guys can see that it will run it by default three times so let's go down and run it boom boom and there we go so it ran it three times it did random 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 and then zeros and then remove the file and you'll see that it runs it against the name as well so it'll rename the file multiple times before it actually removes the file so it doesn't have any recollection that that file was on your system because it over overwrote the name multiple times. So that's super cool to actually do, especially if you want to not leave a trace of a particular file on your system as well. And if we look back over here in our documents, we'll see that that file is 100% gone. And then let's just run it against that five as well. Even though it's already been ran against, it's shredded already. You can't recover that file, but we can run it again. And I, with that U option, just to, you know, go down and run it. But you'll see it'll randomize it again and then remove the file. So we can go back here in our documents and that file is gone. And you cannot recover it. 
so i want you guys to know it doesn't put it in the trash bin you know it's no way to recover this this is why it's like a command line utility um because it's made to fully remove something from a system and there you have it a comprehensive guide on using the shred command for secure data deletion now remember to use the shred command responsibly and be cautious when erasing this as the data will be permanently lost and i want you guys popping up in my comment section hey you showed us this shred command and i i lost my files and i'm like hey i warned you you know what i'm saying that's why i want you guys to i hope you guys watch this video till the end but if you find this video helpful please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and sharing it with others who might find this information useful so thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next video. And of course, keep it safe.